Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're doing the extended European Outlook for today's second video. So this is your 30 day slash 42 day extended European Outlook. I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that first, a video is here, it's our 6 a.m. weather forecast. And we're going to be live at 6 p.m. this evening with your 10th of morning day. So uh, I should see you live a little bit later on, straight after that. Live stream, we will have the um, next historical Chris countdown as well. By the way, <laughs> I think that's uh, update number three of the Chris countdown that will come straight after the live stream. Literally, as soon as I end the stream, I will enable that video and you'll be able to see that around 7 pm this evening. Busy old day, guys. Well, it's today. Please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Thank you so much to ECM at WF.INT for supplying the charts of the day as well. By the way, thank you so much, EC. Right, going to start off with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly, taking us through week we're currently in, the 4th through to the 11th of November. High pressure dominating weather across most parts of Europe, low pressure out in the Atlantic. So basically, we're high and dry. 500 millibar height and only shows that big ridge through much of the uh, central, northern, and also western Europe. We have got some layer pressure for far northeast and into west of Russia through there. Alright, so the temperature normally looks like this, significantly above average in the north and the west. Uh, some areas like central and northern Sweden, around 6 to 10 degrees above average. More widely, through the west, through the west of Europe, we're around uh, 3 to 6 degrees above average. That includes the UK, Ireland, much of Norway, into France, uh, Spain, Portugal, and down into North Africa. If it's not 3 to 6 degrees above normal, then it's 1 to 3 degrees above normal. But a very mild scene across most parts of West Europe. Over in the east, it's a lot cooler. So anywhere from about Poland eastwards, really, coming out with colder than average temperatures, uh, particularly so through Ukraine, and then going south in towards the uh, Balkans, Black Sea, the northern shores of the Black Sea, going southwest of Russia, there were about uh, 6 to 10 degrees uh, below average. So very cold in the extreme uh, east and uh, in east of Europe and into the west of uh, Russia as well. As far as the Mediterranean is concerned, so it's a mild or warm scene out in the west, but it's a lot colder in towards Greece and Turkey in terms of the temperature to average anyway. And a precipitation wise look like that. So of course with that big ridge, most places are going to be drier than normal. A large area of dry and average condition all the way from Ireland, UK, France, uh, Spain, and Portugal in the west, right way over to Black Sea in the east. Again, we see some wet and average conditions through the far east and northeast of Spain in towards the Balearic Islands and also just off the coast of Portugal. Also up into uh, northern parts of Norway, uh, above average precipitation there. Of course, that could be a mix of rain and snow. And then down in towards the uh, uh, southern part of the Med and towards North Africa, slight west average conditions conditions we bear. They are the exceptions to the norm. To the, to the norm. Most places, though, are drier than average. Okay, well, week two will be the 11th to the 18th of November, and high pressure still dominates the weather through this western and in some central parts of Europe as well. So, blur pressure is in the extreme uh, east and northeast. Again, the 500 millibar height is looking like that. So trough extending down the eastern side of Europe. There'll be some cold air pushing southwards uh, along the jet stream as well. Meanwhile, through western parts of Europe, high pressure rules the roost. The temperature anomaly is looking like this. So still above average in the north and in the northwest. Uh, mild average conditions through there. Meanwhile, east and southeast of parts of Europe coming out colder than average. So again, from like Italy, the Asiatic, right way over to the Black Sea, we see uh, 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 cold, colder or cooler than average conditions. Perhaps a bit of a cool down coming in towards parts of, uh, uh, of France in particular. Might see the temperature lowering uh, down through there. But, but the far northwest, like Scandinavia, 
Nordic regions and into either the UK, as well as the low countries, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and northern parts of Germany. Those areas are coming out with above our temperatures, along with the Baltic Sea states as well, Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania. Mediterranean looking mild average in the west, uh, colder than average in the east. Amputation for week two. Um, so again, we see a lot of dry weather through these western portions of Europe. So Ireland, the UK, France, uh, uh, Iberia, in towards southern uh, Scandinavia, like Denmark, some Sweden, far south of Norway, uh, coming out with dry and average conditions. We do see that it's a bit west average through central and northern parts of Scandinavia, especially through uh, Norway and up into the Spins as well. And then through the eastern portion of the Europe, again, anywhere from Portugal, uh, I want to talk about from Poland, <laughs> to the Black Sea, it's uh, of a slightly wetter than normal. As our precipitation goes for the Med, um, many areas looking reasonably dry, but down towards North Africa, it's wetter. Right, week three will be the 18th, 25th of November. The high pressure is beginning to show signs of slipping southwards. Could that be starting to introduce some layer pressure into the western portion of Europe? What about 500 millibar heights? Let's have a look at those. So again, we find above average heights, pretty west Europe below average heights over here. Temperature on is week three. Uh, generally above average again in the far west and uh, northwest. So, again, particularly focused around Scandinavia and Nordic regions and also in towards uh, the low countries, Germany, northern parts of France, UK, and Ireland above average there. Colder than average conditions continue throughout our eastern and southeastern portion of Europe. And precipitation for week three looks like that gradually started to turn more unsettled, perhaps in the North Atlantic and into northern Europe, as drier than average conditions decline away to the south a little bit. Week four will be the 25th of November, 2nd of December. Uh, looking for the pancake here, high pressure to the south and low pressure is away to the north. In comes that westerly flow of the Atlantic, 500 millibar heights again. Uh, all looking rather flat, I have to say. High pressure is through there. Probably could be some low pressure through here. And a flat westerly flow is likely as well. Temperature dominance largely above average through uh, most parts of the Europe, just in the extreme east and south. We talk about Greece, Turkey, and up to Black Sea, southwest of Russia. That's where we've got some cold average conditions clinging on. Most areas looking reasonably mild, though. They started to turn more unsettled in the north. So, Scandinavia, Ireland, the UK, low countries, and Germany, possibly to Poland, with wetter than average conditions. Meanwhile, the Med looks pretty dry as that high pressure declines southwards. That's your 30 days. Look, okay, done. But let's go for weeks five and six data before we go. So, week five is the second to the ninth of December. No changes. Low pressure is up here. High pressure is through there, generally westerly flow, 500 millibar high dominant indicative of that, temperature anomalies largely above average, and precipitation anomalies west average to the north, driving average to the south, weak signal as it's five weeks away. And then week six will be the 9th to the 16th of December, and still no real changes to the overall weather pattern, plenty of high pressure through there, and as far as the 500 millibar heights um, again, we have above average heights here from the Atlantic into the west of Europe. Westerly flow is very, very likely with that one. Temperature anomalies remain above average in most places. And uh, yes, it's slightly wetter than average to the north and drier than average to the south. We'll see. Remember, just a snapshot of what the uh, model is showing. Uh, today, so it could look completely different when we look at this model again next week for the Exchange European Outlook or indeed on Saturday for the Ireland and UK Focus video. Well, we're going to be back later on with our 10 to 14 day live stream. So I shall see you at 6 pm for that. And then straight after the live stream, we're going to have the third installment of Christmas Countdown. So lots to look forward to on the channel today. Please uh, uh, keep checking back for more. Like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And we'll see you soon with uh, more 
content later today. This is what I'm asking for now, and thanks for watching.